This 2024 Renegade Vienna just rolled in and it is pretty dang exciting. I'm really excited to show it to y'all and I'm gonna show you why Renegade is one of the best, if not the best, classy motorhome out there that you can buy. Let's go take a look. Welcome back to another video, y'all. I'm very excited to be showing you this 2024 Renegade Vienna. It is a 25 VRMC. You can see this here is the MSRP price. So not the sales price, but the MSRP price on it. Here at McLean's RV, you're gonna be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen here. So as you're taking a look at that, I'm really excited because we actually have a competing brand right next to this Vienna, and it's really gonna give me a good chance to show you some of the differences in the way that Renegade builds their RV that really is a cut above. So before we get into any of that, I wanna let you know real quick, we are here at McLean's RV Superstores. So you can see that there. We're here at their Rockwall location today. And in case you don't know, my company, Firmly Unbound, has partnered with McLean's RVs because we believe they're one of the best RV dealerships in the country to buy your RV from, not only because they have amazing products on their lot, such as these Renegade motorhomes, but also because of the people that work here, the service that they provide, and the quality of people that are here in the building, which relates to the experience you're going to have when you purchase your RV. So that's something that's always been important to us to make sure that if we're gonna recommend you go buy your RV from somebody, they're gonna give you good service, and that's what we believe McLean's will do here. So if you see something you like out of this video, see something you like out of this RV and are interested in more purchasing information, there will be a number that you can text us at to reach us here. Keep in mind, McLean's does have five different locations, four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. They all carry this Vienna brand from as far as I understand. So you can get it from any of their locations. And this is something we're here to help you out with if you see something you like out of this RV. Or maybe you're just wanting to start seriously shopping for an RV. We're here to help with that as well. So you can reach out to us at any time, text us at that number, we're here to help. So as we go through the outside real quick, I do wanna highlight a bunch of things on the outside. So we're gonna start with the outside and go through where a lot of these build differences are seen on the outside. Um, first of all, built on the Mercedes chassis here, looks really nice. And the one that we have next to us here, I hate to do this to the Winnebago view, but we have to because that's just what I want to do on this channel is really show you the differences. You can see the MSRP on this one is only a difference of $2,000. Looks like they're built on the same Mercedes chassis here, both gonna take diesel fuel. And right away, one of the first differences we see they look like they have the same wheels on here, but just a little extra touch. Renegade is giving you their Renegade emblem on the wheels there. Um, they have a little bit different tire as well. This has a Continental Van Contact tire. It's an R16 tire. And then this has a, a Cumho, which I have not heard of that one before, tire. It does look a little bit beefier and a little bit more quality on this. And it is a um, 215-85 R16 tire on there as well. A um, little bit different steps between the two, not too much of a difference there. Um, but we're gonna come around to this side real quick. And you have an armless awning right here. It is a Gerard arm armless awning. Really curious your thoughts on the exterior paint job as well. Renegade does have many different paint options. I believe they have five different full body paint options. And then this one does have the bed over the cab. Since I have it here, let me just show you another Vienna color option right here as well. So this is their black and gray option. So that's another one that you can look at there too. Um, just to give you an idea on pricing as well, I don't know how much they will come down off prices on this brand new 2024. You can see this one is an MSRP of 207, marked down to 190. So don't think that that MSRP price of 217 is what the actual price of this motorhome is going to be when you go to purchase it. There is negotiation room there. So as we go along the outside here and keep moving down this side, you have your side cameras. They are nicely tucked away and painted over so it looks nice and concealed there. You don't really see them sticking out in any way. You do have a keypad there for entry. You're gonna get an outside TV with a JBL soundbar. And then as we step back, you also have frameless windows on the side of this RV as well. 
Really like the storage doors on here. You can see they have the chrome latch handles on there and look really nice. And then Renegade makes really, really quality baggage compartments here. So you can hear that there. This is, I actually think this is like a composite material, which I like. This is, this feels similar to what is in like the truck bed of my Tundra. So a composite material here that's really strong and sturdy. So it's not going to, you know, fail over time or anything like that, but also feels like it's not going to dent the same way like steel would. So it feels really nice there. And then the doors just close super smooth and love the way that that works. Right here, you're gonna have some outlets, nicely painted to match the color of the external components of the RV. And then you have a Truma Aqua Go system. So this is gonna be like a tankless hot water system there as well, or a tankless water heater system. More storage doors along the side. We got storage there, light in here as well. Pretty simple and self-explanatory, but again, just the quality on these doors is, I mean, it's like a high-end class A motorhome type baggage door there. Comes to the back, has a really nice looking rear cap on the back, nice looking lights. And again, just curious on what you think about the color scheme. Now, the one thing that's interesting to me is there's no ladder to get up onto the roof like you see on this Winnebago view here. So that's something you let me know. Would you prefer to see a ladder or do you like the look of it not having a ladder on the back? To get up onto the roof, you are gonna have to have your own ladder. So that is something to keep in mind. But yeah, backup camera up there in the light. And then as we come down here, it is going to have a towing hitch on the back that has a max trailer weight rating of 4,200 pounds, max tongue weight of 400 pounds. And then you do have a plug there if you do want to tow off the back of this motorhome. Now, keep in mind that is something a lot of people do if you have a lightweight vehicle, because when you get to your campsite in a Class C motorhome like this, if you ever want to leave anywhere, you have to pack up camp and drive your motorhome, unless you tow a vehicle behind you. And some other people, they'll tow like a trailer behind them. Maybe they want to bring ATVs or side-by-side -side or whatnot, can also do that too. Have your slide out here, it does have slide toppers on it but I do want to get to one of the big, big differences in the construction quality. Again, I hate to do this to the Winnebago view, but it's just, I feel like it's my duty to give you as much information as I can about the differences between these RVs. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get up onto the roof here and don't think I'm just trying to pick apart this Winnebago view. I'm just trying to show you the differences. I'm, I'm sure there are things about this view as well that are really nice and I don't want to just pick it apart, but this is one of the most glaringly obvious differences that most people will not look at or don't even know to look at. If you look along the roof here, look at how the seams are all done. Look at how they cover over these seams. It's how we see pretty much any RV done, especially in like the towable space. If you get up on the roof of most towable RVs, that is what it looks like right here. But then look at this Vienna. Look at how they do the seams on there. Look at how much more attention to detail was taken in covering those seams. That is something that very few people will ever take a look at and don't even know, but Renegade really does go that extra mile to try to put extra quality and care into the finished product that they put out there in the market. So that is one of the most glaringly obvious differences. You also notice this one here has two solar panels there. That one has a huge, what looks like to be a 300 or 330 watt solar panel on the roof. And then this Vienna that we're taking a look at today actually even has a lithium battery system. So it doesn't have a generator on it. So no generator on this model. We'll get to that in just a second. Then another difference, look at their water bay area. This is all, um, you know, routed out metal for this compartment here. So this is really high grade quality finishes on here again, no plastic in this area. So really impressive, or at least no plastic with the way that they built this out. So really, really like that. That looks really nice. And then underneath here, that is going to be a water source there for you as well with a hose that will come out. So you'll have all of your water connections there. And then as we come down this way, you're gonna see your dump valves right here for black and gray tanks, sewer storage down underneath there as well. And then you'll have more baggage compartments along this side. But let's look again over to the view and you can see, like look at the baggage doors on here. Not that these are, you know, bad in any way, but they just, I don't know. They don't feel, they don't feel as rugged as these ones do. These feel much closer to like a high-end class A diesel pusher than these do here. 
And so there's a difference there. And then this has, you know, kind of a similar finish in the baggage compartment doors, but this plastic just doesn't feel as strong. It doesn't feel like it's as high a grade of, you know, material that's in there in the baggage door. And then we can see that again as we go back through here. I don't know that it's bad. I just, something about the finish in this one just feels a little bit better to me. And I, I could be completely off in that judgment. You know, maybe it's really not that much different at all, but it's just a feeling to me. But I do appreciate the, you know, more quality finish and, you know, feel of the latches and handles on this Renegade. Down underneath here, more storage, and then you are going to have your inverter there. So that is going to be a 2000 watt inverter working with your solar and battery system. So as we keep coming down underneath here, here are your lithium batteries down underneath here. So it looks like you have two lithium batteries there, nice big lithium batteries. I don't know the exact power output on these batteries there, but you do have two lithium batteries. So this is designed and intended to be able to run the entire coach, especially with the solar on the roof as well. So you're going to have a lithium, uh, so you're going to have a lithium system on there and it's not going to have a generator. While we're down underneath here as well, just want to show you like underneath the slide out. I mean, that is just rock solid underneath there. Another quality component. And then again, side camera on this side as well. We're gonna look in the cab real quick first before we go into the RV portion. So again, on the Mercedes chassis here, you're going to have really nice armrests here, even has like a leather pad right there in the armrest portion. You have your seat controls here with memory on them, heated seats, and then it does have lumbar support as well in the seats. These are going to be swivel seats also, so they will have that capability. Gonna have a lot of your different safety features in these Mercedes chassis, things like lane assist and those more premium safety features. And then it has a really nice looking dashboard here as well and control panel plus manual switches for things like your air controls and it has additional storage up underneath here with wireless charging pad and usb type c charging ports there for faster charging on your devices also like that you have some additional storage up here and cup holder same thing on the passenger side as well and passenger finish will be all of the same things plus some storage space down in there two cup holders here and it is a leather steering wheel so it feels really nice of course you'll have cruise control and all of those settings as well so love the look and feel of that your gas tank is going to be right here so that'll flip open where you will put in your diesel fuel and even has a light up over here so if you're getting in and out of here in darker conditions you'll be able to see your step as you get in and out so those are some things on the outside and obviously it's going to get even better as we go inside. So let's go take a look at the inside of this motorhome. Now, as we go inside, in case you're one of those people that just fast forwards to the inside, want to recap pricing information, MSRP on this model here, McLean's RV Superstores is $217,342. Now that is not the actual sales price. We do have a, another Renegade Vienna over there that is a couple thousand dollars less on the MSRP, I believe, and they have it under $200,000. So pricing is negotiable. Again, we are here at McLean's RV Superstores and our intention with filming these videos is to help you with not only finding a great RV that will work for you, but also helping you with understanding the differences in dealerships. And we decided to work with McLean's RVs because we do believe they are one of the best RV dealerships in America that you can buy your RV from. So we're here at the Rockwall location. They also have four other locations, four total in Texas and then one in Oklahoma. So five in total. And if you are interested in this RV, that is what we are here to help with. We are here to help get you connected with McLean's and make your process as easy and simple as possible. So you can text us at the number on the screen if you are interested in this RV, and we would love to help you out and be a part of your RV buying process. Um, one other thing before we go inside too, that's also important. They are a priority RV network dealer. So that means they have about 140 different dealerships across the United States that they are connected with that offer front of the line service if you are in the middle of a trip and have some sort of emergency while you are on the road. So another very important thing. I want to point out the LED lights here and this awning actually retracted on its own because it got a little windy here. So that is another nice feature. And then as you open the door, going to have your steps that retract. You have a screen door here. So the screen door will detach. Love that it's an all black finish on that as well. 
nice grab handle here and grab handle there. So making it very easy to get in and out. No big aggressive steps coming up. It does have four point hydraulic auto leveling. And as we come inside right away, you're gonna see your flip up countertop. You have some control panels here. This is gonna be the control panel for your battery and power with the inverter, auto leveling system, battery disconnect and your step override. And then I love this here, right when you walk in, you have an all on, all off switch for your lights. So you can turn on all the lights right as you walk in. Now let's go ahead and come inside and take a look at this Renegade Vienna. So this model here is really unique. And actually, you know what? I messed up because I should have had this bathroom door closed. I'm letting y'all see too much, too quick, but that's all right. This model here has two unique aspects to it. One, it has a Murphy bed here. So this gives you additional seating here. You're gonna have seating for four people. And then this will flip down and make into a bed. So that is really awesome. And then it also has the cab overhead here or the um, bed over the cab here. So that is also something where you can get this with or without that bed over the driver's cab. This is gonna give you great additional sleeping or additional storage. And this is kind of where we're going to start. Since we already looked at the driver's area, we're gonna start with up there, but I do wanna show you real quick. You have some storage nets there and you also have a table there as well that will go between the two chairs. And those chairs will swivel. So those are interior seating space as well when you are at your campsite. Um, but now that you've seen this bed configuration and you see the bunk lights there, plus it does have um, really nice outlets too. These have two outlets plus a standard USB and a USB type C all built into that outlet. Love that. Uh, TV connection so you could mount a TV to that wall and then we're going to put this up and I'm going to show you actually I'm going to put the camera down and show you how this will kind of convert into a non bed space if I can get the camera to stay up nice okay so all you're going to do take your ladder put it up here out of the way and then these mattresses kind of overlap one another and this will all slide back making this very simple and easy to then convert into giving you more head space while you're going down the road. Now you have all this additional head space here, a little bit of additional storage on each side as well, and you'll be able to open up that space there. Now a couple quality aspects that I wanna to touch on that I'm so impressed with. Um, soft touch ceiling, but that's not the biggest thing. What I was really surprised to see is all of your sidewalls are also a soft touch leather material. Even here in the slide out, all soft touch leather. So it just feels incredibly premium in here. That is a big difference that you'll see between this and a lot of other RV brands is most other RV brands are just going to have, you know, kind of a wrapped sub or a sidewall there and not a soft touch leather sidewall. So that is very impressive. And then on top of that, all of their hardwood in here or all of their wood finishing is solid hardwood it's maple wood finishes and it is all the way throughout this entire motorhome looks really great with these colors um, a lot of times i've gone into renegade rvs and i'm not super excited as well because they don't look that modern not this one this one i really like the look of it and again just going to those extra touches of detail just the look and finish of these balances it is a soft touch leather on the balance as well looks really nice pull down nightshades on all of your windows and just love the way the look and finishes in here. It just feels very, very quality. You can feel the difference when you step in here. You really can. So then we're going to work our way along this side here and kind of show you the different components and aspects of this motorhome. This is a multi-purpose chair. Love that they have the USB ports built in there, but it can become a love seat if you want some additional space there. It does have a table that it will come with. The table is actually back in the closet back over here. I'll show you that in a little bit. But you do have a table there that you can turn this into a eating space and it is kind of a um, angled off table so it makes it easy to get in and out of there. But what I really, really like is just the quality of the recliner that you're getting. It also does come with these pillows. So these pillows are included. And look at this. Look at how far those recliners lay back. It is a nice soft leather material and this is right across from your Samsung TV there. So I love that, really, really feels like a nice quality recliner. Love that it lays back, has plenty of space to lay back comfortably, and that is going to be a great comfortable position for you while you're out camping. Plus again, has the ability to flip up that armrest. So if you wanna snuggle in that space, you have the ability to do that as well. 
As we move to the left, I want to show real quick, you do have some light switches here so you can control both all of your ceiling lights and your slide overhead light up underneath us there. So you can control those right from that seat. And you also have outlets and USB ports right here as well, right next to that spot. In addition to the USB ports in the seat themselves. As we go down this way, again, this is going to be your Murphy bed setup. So you have a two cushion kind of love seat setup. And from this space, you also have outlets and USB ports there. More light controls here as well, as well as your water pump controls right before you go into the bathroom. And still a good overall sitting space to have a cool, comfortable, open environment here in your motorhome. Still can see the TV just fine and feels like a comfortable space. Now we're gonna put this bed down and I'm gonna show you how this bed goes down. So we're gonna put the camera back down. We're gonna leave it right here, see if we can get it in a good viewing angle to show exactly how this works. Cause it is a little bit more involved. You actually have to take out these armrests. That way this bed will go down completely flat. So we take out these armrests here and then this will lay down flat and then they have these latches built in so this doesn't come down on you unexpectedly or anything. Nice quality metal latch there. And then you pull down this base with the mattress at the same time. And pillows and all are going to flip over. So really, really neat how easy that is, how simple it is. You have your pillows that just stay right in place there. I did not expect to see the pillows in there as well. And that is how you convert that to a bed. It's really that simple. So this will be your bed space. This looks to be about, this actually looks like it's the width of almost a king size bed. It's not the length of a king, but it is a really wide looking bed. You can see by the size of those pillows, those are really big pillows. And then you have table side on both ends of the bed. So some table side space, lights underneath here. And then we're gonna really get into the look of these cabinets. Look at how they build these flush with the way that that cabinet door is built in. Really nice chrome looking handle and even the shelving in here and everything is all solid hardwood finishes, really good quality latches as well, or sorry, um, not latches. Well, it does have good latches too. Um, they feel good in quality, but I was talking about these hinges right there, real good quality hinges. And you have those on both sides for additional storage, plus the window and the bed as well. So that's gonna be your bed space. You can see how this looks when you're you know at your campsite now when this is in the slide closed position i actually don't know that this bed will fit like this so we're going to have to take a look at that with the slides closed so let's go ahead and just do a slides closed test real quick yeah not quite going to be able to have that bed out you can see with the window here we have about another eight to ten inches probably that this slide needs to come in but this bed is already hitting the refrigerator and that bathroom door so not going to be able to have this slide in with the bed down however you can see you still do get all of your seating space while you're going down the road so a really practical layout you're going to have your two cushion sofa there and your recliners here and you're just gonna have a nice walkway down this whole area back to the bathroom and this is what the space will look like with your slide fully closed. You can see you do have a walkway back through here. It does get a little tight back through this space there, but you have lots of seating options. Those are just a little pushed close to that refrigerator. And then these two here, obviously very comfortable seating positions. Plus this one will have the ability to recline. They actually both will recline, but you can see they come right up to the cabinetry there. So someone like myself my feet hang way off the end of that so not really a practical use except for on this one where you can at least have your feet hang off the end there so that is how it looks with your slide closed now i sometimes like to add in my own little critiques of things i don't like sometimes unnecessarily because there are so many nice things about this motorhome and so many things to praise about it but I feel like it's appropriate to tell you things that I potentially don't like or wish were different. One of them is the light tone. It is a little bit warmer tone in the lights here. I would have appreciated having more of a cool light in here. I think it would have made it look even brighter and pop even more. And then the other thing, when that slides closed, all of these lights actually are getting blocked. So there's only two lights down this area here and it feels a little bit dark as you get back to that area, which I would appreciate. Just having a little bit more light there would have been nice, but as you can see, the AC is right there as well. Um, so that's really one of my only few critiques so far. Um, then we're going to work our way down this side here. So first want to point out, you do have a pull down shade for the door. Love that. And it does come down to about 
two thirds of the length of the door there. So easily becomes a privacy shade. Again, nice finish on here. This is like a carpet padded finish on that. And as we come down this way, you do have the flip up countertop there. So additional countertop space, nice countertop space in general, actually. You can see you have this flip down outlet there as well. So nice for like coffee makers and things like that. And that has a nice kind of, um, what's it called? It's a stainless steel type of finish, but it's that, uh, oh my gosh, charcoal stainless steel finish there. <laughs> Solid surface countertops, it does have a little bit of a sparkle to it. That doesn't always pick up on the camera, but it is a nice solid surface countertop as you would expect. Nice big window on your campsite as well. And then of course, soft touch finish on this side here, there as well. You're gonna have the Samsung TV. It does have, let's see, it should have a latch here. Okay, there, I had to use two hands. So you can see it is on an arm. It can swivel around. So very nice there. And looks to be about a 32 inch screen TV or so. And then back behind here, it does have this magnet latch. That's kind of what's holding it in place there. And back through here, different plugs, breakers, your sound bar there. It's kind of interesting because it is positioned facing down. So, but that just kind of keeps it the most confined and concealed there. And then no storage back behind that TV, but it does stick out and give you multiple different viewing angles. Push that back in, it just magnet latches in place. And then I'm gonna get to one of my favorite things now, which is the cabinetry. I mean, just look at how nice this finish looks here, how it is just built in flush with the side panels of this cabinetry finish. It is so, so premium. It feels really nice and quality. Spot for a trash can down underneath here and all solid hardwood throughout here. It just feels really, really premium. Truma heating system controls down underneath there. And then you do have an LED light underneath the countertop with this mirrored finish back behind there. So that is a mirrored finish that you're seeing there too. And then your drawers, this is where you really can see the difference in quality. Look at the hardwood finishing in there with, someone remind me what this type of construction is when your cabinetry is finished out this way, but it's not just stapled together there. It is actually, you know, seamed together and a much higher grade finish, all hardwood throughout here, no pressed wood or anything like that. Plus, soft clothes on those as well. Little extra storage space down underneath here. And then no floor vents in here as well because they are running the heating out of your um, cabinetry there as well. Along the countertop space, really impressed with just how much countertop space there is in general. You have a chrome faucet there with a detachable head and going to have a nice big sink there. That looks like it's about 12 inches across by 12 inches deep potentially, maybe eight or 10 inches deep, but huge nonetheless. Nice solid surface. Um, cover on that as well. And then you have a two burner gas stove underneath here. Touchscreen control panel to control your entire RV. This will link to your phone as well. So you can control everything on your phone. Nice additional shelving underneath here with some guardrails there. And then you do have latches on all of your cabinets. So you have to actually click that latch there. And then you can see how this opens up. Now what's impressive about these cabinets as well, most motor homes, when you open up these cabinets, they just kind of lock at one position. And then when you go to bring them down, they just slam shut. Not with Renegade. Wherever you stop this cabinet door at is where it stays because of these higher grade hinges that they use. So it doesn't just slam shut on you. It'll stay at any position that you leave it at. And I really like that. Haven't seen that on hardly any other RVs in this price range. It's usually only in the higher price stuff. So love that as well. You have the same type of storage space over here. So open these up and you have storage that goes all the way through here as well. And then that is pretty much everything in this living space. You have your other kitchen components. So you have your refrigerator and freezer back through this space. It's a nice size refrigerator there. It's not the biggest or anything like that, but good for a nice, you know, week long trip or so. You have this spot that pulls out really impressed with this. You have all these shelves built in there. And then again, this is soft closed, just like everything else. So it's soft closed on that, plus a latch there to keep that closed. Open this up, nice big storage space through that area. And then of course you have your microwave. It is a RV size microwave, but it is a convection oven combo in there as well. So no oven in here, but you do have the convection oven combo in the microwave. AC here, it is ducted throughout the RV. It's dual ducted as well. So ducted out of this side and out of this side. So you can see, your ducting running down both sides of the RV. Max air vent fan there. 
and that is pretty much everything in this area. As we go back to the bathroom, you have a nice full body mirror here on the bathroom door, and you have the same thing on the other side of the um, bathroom door as well. And then you open this up, all the finishes here in the bathroom are the same as we've seen throughout this motorhome. So very consistent, has a nice soft touch sidewall on here, this whole entire wall, just a nice soft touch material. Same thing here. Yeah, fan controls and light controls right there with that panel. Max air vent fan. Ceiling height in here is great as well. It's gotta be, gosh, probably almost seven feet for the ceiling height in here. And then in the shower, really nice looking shower. It is a rectangular shower. And as I step in here, it's actually not terribly tall. The height to here is probably about six foot. So to right here, it's likely about six foot, maybe 5'11". And then in the skylight, you could probably be about 6'4 or so and fit in here. Um, do have to duck to get underneath this shower head in my 6'2 height, but it is a one, so you can move it around. It's not terribly wide either. I'm only 185 pounds or so, and I do feel a little tight in here. Um, kind of almost feel like I have to stand sideways so that my shoulders aren't rubbing up against the sidewall. So that is something to keep in mind there. It's not the most spacious feeling shower. Down through here, you're going to have your porcelain foot flush toilet. You have a towel bar there as well. And of course you have ducting back into here. Nice looking lights give it like a hotel feel. Medicine cabinet looks really clean as well. It has a handle underneath here to open that up. And again, just the finish of everything in here is so nice. Solid surface countertop, nice size sink with a stainless steel faucet, towel hook right there, and storage underneath here with a spot for your toilet paper. Like I mentioned, you also have a mirror on this side of the door. Not sure how practical that is, but you do have it. And then you have a magnet latch there that will catch the door when you open it. So nice to have that. Really nice looking closet here. And because there was no closet out in the living space, they do give you a closet back here with a clothing rod. So lots of space back in here. No washer dryer connections in this motorhome. So if that's something you need, this motorhome does not have that. And then this is your table here that we're seeing the backside of that can go out in the living room to give you an eating surface as well. And that is everything in your bathroom. This is obviously the smallest space in the motorhome, but you know, how much time do you anticipate spending in here really? And that is everything in this Renegade Vienna. So let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like. And again, if you are interested in this RV, let me know. You can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help. We are here at McLean's RV Superstores in Rockwall, Texas, but they also have four other locations. So five in total, four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. I believe you can get this motorhome at any of their five locations. And if you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help make sure you have the most enjoyable, comfortable, smooth RV purchasing process that you could possibly ask for. So text us at that number there and we are here to help. And until next time, live firmly unbound.